the United States of America Olympic Marathon Trials. Ladies and gentlemen, these were the Olympic Marathon Trials for the Paris Olympics America team. Now, a lot of people were gearing up to try and represent America in the Olympics, but by far the favorite of this event was either Paul Chalimo or Galen Rupp. However, this race didn't exactly go as everyone thought it would have. So make yourselves comfortable, grab a snack or a drink, and let's get ready to take a look at what actually happened at this year's Olympic Marathon Trials for Team USA. Hey, I'm the runner. If you're new here, I cover all of the latest marathon races and running races from around the world. From Kipchoge to the Inga Brixens, to Jacob Kiblimo and Joshua Cheptegei. I cover everything, so make sure you hit subscribe if you want to stay up to date with this type of content, and please leave a like on all of my videos to show your support. During the few opening miles of this Olympic trials, we saw Galen Rupp not wanting to do anything. A lot of these athletes were sitting back and they were happy to run 5 minutes per mile. Now bear in mind that a lot of these runners have a personal record ranging from around 2.10 to 2.18 in the marathon. This is what the average time I would say is for this group of athletes. Of course there are people in this field with sub 2.10 clockings but there aren't many of them. So here we are 31 minutes in. I think that we're looking at something really really slow here judging by how big this pack actually is. So right now we're getting some of the splits in and unfortunately they're not looking fast at all. The 6 mile mark was 29.56 which means they've got another what 400 meters left until they hit the 10k so that's around about a 10k in 31, mm, 31.10. 31.05 so it's basically smack bang on five minute marling. Notice how easily Paul Chalimo glides at this pace. It's just phenomenal. This athlete has one of the best running forms I've ever seen in the entire uh, competitive scene. So eventually we had some really really aggressive moves from Clayton Young and Connor Mance. A lot of these guys here were starting to put the pace down because they realized that really the first 10k was just too slow. Some people wanted to really get moving, but still, Galen Rupp seemed to be taking the option of just sitting back in that lead pack and not really doing any work near the front. Going into this race, I found it very difficult to judge whereabouts Galen's fitness was. However, by watching this race, I thought, okay, Galen is clearly just waiting to sit and kick. He's got the best 5k time in this entire field. He also has the best finishing sprint in this field. Arguably, Chalimo also has a very good sprint, but in my opinion, Galen Rupp is better at the sprint than Paul Chalimo. So right now, we've got some really aggressive moves being made from the what I'd class as underdogs of this race. Probably all wondering where Paul Chalimo and Galen Rupp actually are, but little did they realize that Chalimo and Rupp were actually starting to really, really struggle and were only 33 minutes into this race. It was starting to worry me why Galen Rupp wasn't staying in contention with these leaders. And in actual fact, as we fast forward through the minutes, Galen Rupp starts to drop further and further back. Here we have Mance, we have Young, we have so many top runners. We have Panning, we have Rupp in fourth, we have Lara in 5th, we have a lot of athletes, Career in ninth, Butler in 10th. You know, this is a group that are pretty close together. However, in this situation, I can't see anyone making a proper aggressive move. Whilst I was looking at their splits, here we are at 7.1 miles for 35 minutes. That's okay, but it's not blisteringly fast. It's around about smack back on 5 minute mile pace. So, is Galen Rupp going to finally put his foot down? Is he deciding to make a move? Because Galen Rupp's run very fast over the marathon, and for him, this type of pace should be slow. 5 minutes per mile would give you around about a 2.11 to a 2.12 marathon, which is way slower than Galen Rupp's personal record. So, if we look at the running form of some of these athletes, the most relaxed is definitely, in my opinion, Galen Rupp. 
Mance has a very bouncy type of form and uh, he also looks very relaxed also as if he is uh, more of a middle distance runner than a marathon runner. So here we are approaching the halfway mark. They've still maintained a pace of around about five minutes per mile. They've uh, sped up slightly here, which means that the group has now whittled its way down a little bit. But Gaylorup is still there. He's still in contention, but again, not touching that front. We have Panning is still there. And he's doing most of the work in this situation. Then we've got Mance with his springy, bouncy star running form. We've got Clayton Young in fourth place. And uh, Collie has moved up into fifth and Kibet in sixth. Galen's dropped back down to seventh with a gap of, I believe, one second. So it's really nothing um, compared to the leaders right there who are obviously quite a way in front. So are we going to get the halfway split? I don't know if that was it just there. I highly doubt it was. I don't think they are running that fast to go for in sub 64. No, they're not. They're currently at 13 miles. For some reason, whoever put this course together has decided to do the splits for... Oh, there we go. It's just updated. 13.1 they did in 63.40, roughly 63.40 to 63.39. That's not bad, you guys. That's actually a huge increase from the first 10k. They're now running around 440 per mile, which is very, very fast. So that would be understandable now why Galen Rupp is starting to struggle. And look at this. If we fast forward 20 minutes, Galen Rupp is now completely dropped off the back. I was so disappointed to see this. As most of you all know, what Galen Rupp has been through over the past half a decade is so many injuries, so much setbacks, depression. He's had a big family that he's raised, so he's uh, really committed as a father as well as an athlete. And it's just so sad to see him really struggling in these races. I mean, yeah, it's really, really worrying. Panning is now currently still in the lead with Mance following him closely behind. Clayton Young there in fourth. But unfortunately, Galen Rupp is now in eighth place and he's slowing right down. The group is starting to get away from him now and he's starting to look like he's laboring. Usually with Galen Rupp, you can tell when he gets tired because he does this thing where he looks at the floor every four to five seconds. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but after studying Galen for the past seven or eight years, I can tell you that it's something he does when he gets fatigued, where he just takes a little peek down at the floor, down at the road, every four to five seconds. And this is his way of basically showing that he is in a lot of pain and things are not really going to plan up in his head or with his body. So right now, his job is to probably just hold on. If he can't increase his pace and catch up with the leaders, he is in big trouble. Seeing what happened here, I knew that Galen wasn't going to have a good day. As an athlete like him would obviously be toying with runners like this. He is way faster than all of them over the marathon. 10k, half marathon, 5k. However, that's not the case in today's race, where he clearly was just dropped off the back and couldn't keep up. Panning still doing a fantastic job. We have a... Uh, a nice snazzy pair of uh, sunglasses or shades and uh, he's got his uh, yellow cap on there's Galen been dropped off the back it's not a huge gap let's just note it's important to note that that is only around about 40 meters 30 meters which in a marathon is uh, closable it really is so now Clayton Young has moved up into third we have uh, Panning still in first and then Mance is, I don't know why it's saying he's in fourth, because he isn't, he's in second. Uh, that must be an old split. Oh yes, it was. It was actually about four or five minutes ago. So now if we look at the updated versions, we've got Panning, Mance and Young, one, two and three. They are currently looking at one hour, 28 minutes on the clock. Galen Rupp is nowhere to be seen. Unfortunately, I don't know why they've only shown the top six. Uh, here we go, it's updated. Rupp is 17 seconds behind, so this is roughly around 90 meters. At this pace, 17 seconds is around 85 to 90 meters behind, as these guys will be covering 100 meters uh, every 19 seconds. Well, maybe high 18 seconds, depending on when they drop that pace down between 10k and 20k. But look at this. They're really pushing hard. A credit to Panning. He's done a fantastic job during these Olympic trials. Uh, really, really, really setting the pace here for Mance and Clayton Young. Possibly a very bad tactical move, um, but it's also good 
because he's clearly trying to qualify and he's doing the best possible uh, move that he can to enable him to get that qualification spot. Mant's really struggling here. He's got his mouth wide open. He looks like he's struggling with fatigue, lactic acid buildup, burning of his legs. Uh, I think Young at the back there in the red vest, Clayton Young is looking the most relaxed out of these two. Although he is breathing heavy, you can tell he isn't grimacing or rocking from side to side like Panning and Mance are. However, this is anyone's race now, guys. We have 15, well, roughly 20 minutes remaining in this race, 20 to 22 minutes. And uh, it's going to be a case of who can hold on here. But I have a feeling that uh, Clayton Young's ready to pounce. Judging by his running form and his facial expressions, to me, he looks like he's ready to make a very aggressive move. And it's sad to see number one, Galen Rupp, has dropped all the way back by a whole minute and 21 seconds. Uh, yeah, that's not good at all. Unfortunately, his race is over. I won't be surprised if he drops out right now because there's really no point in him continuing other than if he makes it a point that he has to finish uh, for whatever reason, whether it's his goal to just finish the marathon. So here we fast forward to 201. Very exciting move made by Clayton Young and Connor Mance. They have dropped Panning by 20 seconds, so he's now over 100 meters away. Galen Rupp is uh, nowhere to be seen. He's dropped out of the top 10. I believe that Galen has just dropped out of the race altogether, actually. I don't know, but that's, that's very worrying. If he hasn't dropped out, he's basically three minutes behind the leaders. Connor Mance, Clayton Young, one and two. Look at the form. I mean, Connor Mance looks, he is really, really springy. His legs are, um, I don't know how biomechanic experts would explain this, but he has a very unusual running form where his legs almost look so bouncy. He has a lot of energy and life in his legs to make the running look that springy and bouncy. Here's Panning, really suffering this pain here, uh, being uh, passed by Kibet in fourth and third place. The battle for the third place with the uh, army vest on that uh, I believe Chalimo is also wearing the same vest. But again, I don't know where Chalimo is. He struggled in this race too. He is, uh, as far as I can see these results, he's nowhere to be seen. So very worrying. Panning looks like he's hit the wall. Look at this. He's slowing the pace a lot. He's really struggling now. His arms are all over the place. Let's fast forward to the ending here. Now this is only the qualifiers. So I don't know if these guys are going to actually sprint finish against each other. It would be interesting if they did. Here we have Conor Mance versus Clayton Young. So we've got two hours and seven minutes on the clock. They have not long left to run at all around about 400 meters left and uh, again you can still see the bouncy running form of uh, of uh, it's just phenomenal oh here we go look at this yeah they're clearly just running this together now enjoying the moment what a fantastic race it is by these two runners Mance and Young phenomenal running really really well and they actually increase the pace so much that they're probably going to break 209 at this rate so not bad at all after going out at around 213 predicted marathon finish they've now managed to get that down by almost five whole minutes phenomenal running i think you know i think mance timed his race perfectly mance uh, really really stuck behind panning for most of the way but then you had clayton young very sneaky moves around sixth or seventh and then worked his way up and kind of made an aggressive move against panning and only mance could respond to him here they are over the first Sorry, the last three to 400 meters having a chat together, uh, probably saying, who's going to win? Who? <laughs> I'll let you win, brother. <laughs> He's letting Mance win. Phenomenal. That's great sportsmanship, allowing Mance to go in for the win. Here we are just over 209, so I was slightly wrong. We're looking at around 209.05, unofficial. Young coming in in second around 209.07. What a great run by these two young athletes. I think that was a phenomenal race disappointing to see Galen Rupp really fall back so far who is going to get third place is it going to be Panning or is it going to be Kibet no sorry it was Career. oh my goodness Leonard Career came out of nowhere wow he actually took he overtook Kibet as well that must have been a crazy sprint finish look at that 209.57 and then 210.02 when the camera showed Panning uh it was Kibet passing him not Korea. so yeah, uh, so that's the results, guys. They're the top five. 
Uh, no sign of panning, he must have dropped back a long, long way. First was Connor Mance in 209.05. Second was Clayton Young in 209.06. Leonard Career in third, 209.57. And in fourth, we had Kibet. And in fifth, we had Albertson in 210.07. Very disappointing run by Galen Rupp. Is this the end of his career? Possibly. I don't want to say anything too soon as he is a very top athlete who has my respect. And I know that he has the ability to get back. But don't forget with his age now uh, and also one of his close friends and closest training partners, Mo Farah, also having retired from the marathon. Perhaps it is also time for Galen to put his shoes up and focus solely on just being a father. I feel like ever since 2017 to 2018, when Galen started getting the severe Achilles injuries, he hasn't been the same runner we saw back in 2012. This to me was very disappointing and just sad because imagine all of the rehabilitation he's been through. I remember watching a video of Galen going into underwater treadmills, ice baths, massages. He used to do so much work to try and keep himself healthy and injury free. But unfortunately, it really isn't working right now. I hate to tell the truth, but it seems like Galen has just had some really bad races lately. And he seems to be beaten, being beaten by a lot of lower level athletes who are, of course, much slower than him. Galen will obviously miss the Olympics at Paris unless the selecting committee decide otherwise for whatever reason. I may be wrong though, perhaps they have given Galen automatic qualification because of what happened in Rio and the phenomenal race he had there in 2016. I don't know, every country has a different selection criteria. For example, Eli Kipchoge has been named for Team Kenya, so I can confirm unofficially that he will be in the Paris Olympic Marathon. I mean, we already kind of know that, guys, because, you know, he said he was going to be there. He wanted to be there, so I doubt Team Kenya would put someone else in his place, even though he did have a very bad Tokyo Marathon earlier this year. So, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Very disappointing. I hope Galen Rupp's okay. I'll try and do a bit more research and see what his plans are in the future. If he continues to race, maybe he'll turn up to the Great South Run or Great North Run. Maybe he'll do a couple of other road races. I don't know. Or maybe he will actually retire and uh, hang up his uh, laces. If he does, I'll let you guys know with a video. Here on this channel, I cover all of the latest running news, the latest races. We have big races coming up. We have London Marathon in a couple of weeks' time with Bekele, Mossanet Garamu, and Jeffrey Kamwara. We also have the Rotterdam Marathon. We have Paris Marathon that's just been Daegu Marathon. Oh my goodness me, there's so many. If you're not subscribed, do it now and I'll catch you in tomorrow's race.